Hi, I'm Ken Oliver. Thanks for joining us today at Scrapbook Expo. I'm really excited to bring you a simple, cool tip of how to stencil with color burst and a stencil. It's awesome. First, I'm going to start with the little um, media mat. This is awesome. It's a warp proof mat that has watercolor paper on the front of it. So it's like um, warp proof and it's, it's designed to take water techniques without warping. It's really cool. So we're going to stencil on that. I'm going to lay my mat down. I'm going to lay my stencil on top of it. This is so simple and it's going to be so beautiful. I'm going to use Color Burst. Here's my tip. When stenciling with Color Burst, hold the Color Burst bottle between your thumb and your middle finger and just tap. So when you're tapping, you get lots of pigment right down in between all the uh, negative spaces of the stencil. And then when we spritz it with water, you'll see, you'll see what happens because it's really magical. Okay, I'm just like tapping some powder in. And it doesn't take a lot. Color Burst is really, really concentrated. So it doesn't take a lot to get a lot of color. And I'm working in a warm color palette. A warm color palette would be orange, red, and yellow. There's a tip. So now you can see, it looks like there's not really very much on here. But whenever I spritz it with water, the magic is going to happen. So watch this. Okay, ready? Watch this. See how that color develops? Isn't that wild? So then when you lift this up, just gently lift this up, and you have a beautiful stenciled background. That would be great for a card background. It would be great for a stamping project. You could go back and zentangle around in this. And here's another tip. When you stencil, you end up with a lot of color burst on your uh, stencil. You can take that stencil and lay it on a piece of paper, cardstock, or I'm using another mat, and print it. So I've laid it down, it's wet. I'm gonna just roll over it with paper towel to kind of like press that down so it like prints it. This is almost like using a jelly plate. And then when you lift that up, you've got the, re the reverse image of that. And it's also very beautiful. Thanks for joining us today at Scrapbook Expo.